this improv story is based on the ideal man has an exit interview, let the story commence. Craig walked out of the polling station, um, or whatever you call it, uh, and a person said, hi there, uh, just conducting an exit poll. Um, to see how you voted. That's not an exit interview. It is for me. That is for me. He said, no, that, that's, that's, a, that's an exit poll as far as, that's an exit, that's a poll, not an interview. This, this is a, no, no, no. I'm not talking about an interview after somebody's decided to leave a job. No, I'm doing this. I'm doing this one. I'm doing, I'm doing an exit. All right, no politics, all right. Man has an exit interview, let the story commence. Craig was decided, had decided to leave his job. And before he left, his boss said, would like you to come in for a wee exit interview. Is that an exit interview? Just to let us know, you know, how things went for you, how you, right, it is, right. You know, just how things were for you, for any improvements, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, it's just company policy. Big company. Multinational conglomerate. Whatever the fuck that is. So, um, so, Craig sat down and his boss went, okay, so I'll let, I'll let you, I won't, stretch us out too much or you know this is company policy I'm pretty sure both is neither of us want to be here you've decided to leave got an idea of what it might be is there anything uh, uh, well, why why did you decide to leave and Craig went I know well, like you said you're not interested I'm not interested what's the point it's company policy I have to do this and I have to write the notes and it gets sent up um, well, well, I'll tell you, this just gets sent to the, to your bosses and their bosses, it gets sent to the appropriate, um, HR departments and so on and so forth. Craig went, all right, well, I mean, you don't have to do this, you could just say, you know, better wages, you get this over and done with. No, no, I want to say, because it's about you. Okay. You don't seem surprised, said Craig. Well, I'm not. It's no surprise that you, you know, you, 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 um, you have a problem with me. No, I don't have a problem with you. I don't have a problem with you. You're the, you're a problem. You're a problem. I don't have a problem with you. Well, it's the same thing to me. So, what does he want me to write down here? This guy was called John. His boss. Craig said, no. I just don't like the way you worded it there. You, you said it as if you're this kind of neutral entity and I've got a problem with you. Like, I've got a problem, I've got an issue and you're just this neutral entity just making its way through life and I don't know, Craig, what, what do you want me, I don't know what you're talking about, neutral entity, what do you want me to write down here? Do you want me to say you're, you're only happy, management, you're only happy to be managed? No, don't, don't put that down, said Craig. Don't put down, I wasn't happy, I wasn't, I wasn't, right, so you were, so you wondered what was that? No, I wasn't happy with, with management, okay, not happy with being managed, that's not what I, that's not what I said, I wasn't happy with you, I'm not happy with you, okay, uh, and I'm your manager, so you're not happy with being managed, I'm not happy with being managed by you, alright, so, so you, you have a personal problem with me, and you would prefer that someone else manage it. Yes, but you're not getting the, the, full, the full story there. Craig, why don't we just speed this up and I just say that you you want to, um, you went to a new job because it's got better pay. Why don't we just do that? I don't like you, to be honest with you. You don't like me? No, I don't like you. And you don't like me. So that's that. And Craig said, I want the truth to be known here. That you're a fucking arsehole. And the boss went, right, okay, you want to be personal? You want to take this, per uh, might be personal about it? And Craig went, I don't think we've got an alternative because this is a personal, all right, okay, 
why don't we conclude this interview? We just say that you wanted to leave for better wages and we take this outside. Outside where? Have you not heard that expression before, Craig? What? Take it outside as in go outside and take off a... Like roll up with fucking sleeves and uh, fisty cuffs. And John went, yes, what's the matter? Are you chicken? And Craig went, what? Nebdy calls me chicken. Just like, uh, you know, Marty McFly's character. His personality in Back to the Future is well known. He doesn't like get, uh, being called chicken as we saw throughout the first film. Um, um, so they went outside and everybody went, um, John, John, can I, can I speak to you? What should we do about this? Um, the job bag, the JMB job bag. I'll speak to you in a minute. I'm taking Craig outside. All right. And Craig went, he's, he's wanting a fight with me. And John went, oh, you're grassing me in. You're grassing me in. You're not much of a chicken. And Craig went, I don't, I told you don't, no, don't call me a chicken. And John said, why don't you come outside and make me in? And Craig said, um, um, that's the way I'm walking. Can you see that's the way I'm walking? You're acting like I don't want it, I do. I, I want to smash your fucking brain out. And John went, that's what I like to fucking hear. And Craig looked down and he had a semi. John had a semi. He was into it. And they went outside and John stamped absolute fuck out of Craig's face. And he's in that jail right now. 50 year. 50 year. And for every year that he is then in, in Chokey, that's what he called the jail, he's got a PlayStation. So he's got 50 PlayStations to last the whole, the whole time. He's in there pulling his pudding. The end. And that's a true story. Want to know how I know? Because I was John. I broke out. I broke out. And I managed to pay for the escape by uh, with PS5s when everybody was wanting the PS5s, remember? 